Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for your leadership on this and so many other uh, critically important issues. Um, representing the Massachusetts uh, 7th, uh, one of the most diverse and unequal uh, districts uh, in the country. In fact, a recent report by the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston found evidence of a widening wealth gap among family of color, families of color compared to their white counterparts. Uh, across the city of Boston, close to 80% of white consumers are, own a home compared to less than one-fifth uh, across minority communities. Uh, many of my colleagues have already touched on the civil rights origins of the CRA and the need to strengthen the bill to ensure that banks and other financial institutions are doing right by low-income communities. I fundamentally agree. It's one of the reasons why I'm so proud um, to have introduced the American Housing and Economic Mobility Act uh, with Senator Warren and many of my colleagues, which would make housing more affordable and reverse decades of discriminatory policies that have denied black and brown families. Our bill would also strengthen the CRA, extending it to non-bank mortgage companies, promoting greater investment in the communities that need it most, and strengthening penalties for institutions that fail to follow the rules. Uh, Mr. Odom, as you mentioned in your testimony, home ownership among black families and other communities of color continues to lag at historic levels. How will strengthening the CRA lead to increased responsible mortgage lending and expand sustainable economic mobility for low-income communities of color in the Massachusetts 7th, just in a three-mile radius, Cambridge to Roxbury, median household income drops by $50,000. So how would strengthening the CRA address that? Uh, strengthening the CRA allows us to get the kind of data to track what's going on in the marketplace the CRA is responsible for the data that we've seen presented by Mr. Glantz and his partner today. Uh, we would be totally in the dark if we didn't have the kind of CRA reporting requirements about where money is going uh, and who is getting it. So I, I think from an informational standpoint, the CRA is critical in creating that type of transparency, that ability for lawmakers to at least see where the problems are and do something, uh, do something about it. Um, second, um, I'd say that the, it's important to strengthen the CRA um, because it's, uh, it's critical to the maintenance of our communities. Uh, we talked historically in my testimony about the fact that so many of the people who in that 20 percent home ownership that you mentioned, African American families, they're actually contributing to the depository institutions. Small businesses are putting their money in these institutions and the money, they, at least historically, as was as what motivated the CRA, it flies elsewhere. It flies to the 80% of uh, your district or home ownership that you mentioned. So it's important to keep um, this compact uh, between local communities and local banks, to, because uh, without them, um, you know, we, we, in my testimony, we talked about the the high incidence of blight, uh, unemployment and lack of opportunity that results when you don't have access to capital. Uh, and third, I'll put in a plug for um, uh, black-owned businesses or minority businesses generally. Uh, my minority businesses tend to be uh, underfunded uh, compared to uh, other, other groups, even in loans of last resort like SBA loans. I, I think the current data says that something like 3% of minority businesses have access to small business loans. Uh, by, by keeping a requirement in place in law, by keeping a, a light of accountability on this, uh, we're hoping we can keep our uh, communities intact uh, and make them attractive. And when they are attractive, the capital will, will follow. All hopefully. right, very good. And uh, Mr. Glantz, your investigations found some troubling evidence of the ongoing prevalence of of redlining and discrimination uh, in our banking system, trends you largely associate with the fact that the CRA, uh, as currently drafted, is race neutral. Now, many states have moved forward with drafting their own proposals to combat racial discrimination by the financial institutions in their states by explicitly requiring them to track lending data by race and ethnicity. What are your thoughts on this approach, and do any other panelists have uh, an opinion on the matter? I would note uh, that uh, Massachusetts is one of the states that has its own uh, Community Reinvestment Act law. Uh, however, uh, when we look at the lending in uh, the Boston-Cambridge MSAs, uh, we found that among the community's uh, census tracts where there were at least 100 home mortgage loans, uh, there were 320 of them, and all but seven of them were majority white neighborhoods. And of those seven neighborhoods that got more than 100 conventional home purchase loans, 
in 2015 and 2016 in Boston and Cambridge, uh, those seven uh, majority people of color neighborhoods, the majority of the loans from financial institutions went to whites. Uh, and that's what we found in our investigation. Dental lady's time has